we are matching with our spectacles today. It's a spectacle. It's a it wears, we are spectacles. We are spectacles and on a spectacular day, if that's how we feel it, it is. And we're sparkling. Wow. Well, spectacles on a spectacular day. Now, 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 you're, with, with, now, you're, now you're pushing it. Oh, I don't know about that. Well, I don't see any sparkles on you. We sparkle from within, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay, welcome to Life Stuff. Welcome to our Life Stuff. Welcome and... to the the spectacularly uh sparkly Life Stuff. Yes, with no real sparkles, but you know, sparkles come from within. Well, I like that actually. Yeah, it's a feeling. Are you feel, are you feeling sparkly today? Well, it's 82 degrees here and translation it's 29 degrees here. So, yeah, feeling sp- <laughs> feeling feeling the warmth from the sparkle of the sun, I would say. It's the hottest day we've had and it feels like summer. And I'm in yeah, as you can tell, I'm not wearing anything. <laughs> Are you feeling sparkly? I, t- I have a I have a feeling. <laughs> uh I'm trying to feel sparkly. Okay. Yeah. It's it's been an interesting couple of days and you know, gearing up to go back to Toronto in a couple of days mm-hmm. and uh it's getting hot here. Mhm. Um and getting ready for my trip to Italy in uh two weeks is there anything particular you are just so excited to see or just in general is there a specific place i think uh cinque terra Mm -hmm. uh and probably and the amalfi coast amalfi amalfi coast yeah um yeah I mean, it'll be great to see Venice and Florence, and but mm-hmm. you know, I, I'm not. I th- I've said this before. I'm not a museum person or a real no. history person, so I just like beautiful scenery and water and beautiful houses and towns. And, you know, again, I'm more about just being one with nature. Yes. Yeah, so that's my and that. and you should travel the way you want to travel. Exactamonte. Yes. Exactamonte. And and future travel will be the same. So yeah, yeah no, I'm I'm good. You know, this is I, I mentioned to you uh that I kind of fell off the wagon a little bit with my social media stuff, but but not too mm-hmm. bad. I mean, in the last few days I have glanced. It's been very freeing not to look and see what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. Um, Because honestly, it's just, it's just a lot more healthy. It's healthier for me because then I don't feel like I'm missing out. And it, it makes me, I'm, I'm quite okay with doing what I do or doing nothing. You know, the only reason I went on to it is because where I, uh, fell off the wagon was not so much with the social media. It was with uh, a certain person who, who has, has really uh, a trigger for me and a, and a hook and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I just, I, I, I fell with that Mm -hmm. and I messaged this person, um, and it just became a like this past week all that stuff came up on me that just doesn't make me feel good and it affects the rest of my life and my mood and all of that and it's like it was so there in my face it was so obvious because the week before you know i i i i wasn't a part of it mm-hmm. I became a part of it again. I was like, wow, this really does 
affect somebody mm -hmm. you know, when they are wrapped up in somebody or they're they forget themselves and you know so that's what happened and it's still kind of happening this person is uh was supposed to come see me today and i wasn't getting any responses and then so finally i i messaged something that that triggered him and he's coming mm -hmm. but i'm hoping we're going to have a nice chat and just you know just put some closure on it and and yeah. and it'll be, so i i feel actually good about it but boy i it's like talk about a talk about an eye opener and talk about you know like mm -hmm. there it was you know and 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 i didn't like it yeah you know so but the contrast is not good but the contrast is important because it is a motivator towards why you would continue your cleanse or whatever you want to call like the to restrict that put boundaries around it rather yeah. because it, you live a healthier life for you based on knowing really knowing and feeling in your body the difference between what those what that environment because it's another it's another environment going online it's another world and what that does to your psyche and when you've removed it you live a different life but I, I take it even further than that. It's not so much, yes, it's the online, but that's the way to communicate. It's right. the actual removing the situation. Yes. The person yep. from your life. Yeah. That's what it's all about. And that's what I say to people out there. Like, if like the only way you're going to get past it, you know, is to stop letting a situation or a person control you. Mm -hmm. even though they're not they're not necessarily um uh what's the word uh they're not intentionally trying to manipulate you probably no and they're not even they're not really doing it i mean you're they the may one not even be aware you're, you're yeah you're allowing it to happen and it's it's you know i could have just let it go just fine but no i i i needed to make this person aware that what they're doing is not cool but it may mean nothing to them, you know? Mm -hmm. And again, at the end of the day, when something happens, how does it make you feel? And the only person that can change it is you. Yeah. And I did it for a, a, a I did it for a week and it felt great. And honestly, my, my mood, my everything was so much better. And then in this last week, it was back to how I was feeling for weeks. So what was the tipping point? Because you had had such an exciting week. Were you aware of how exciting it was then or were you only you were more aware of it now that you have the contrast of how much worse it felt to like was it was it the reflection of oh my god last week was a, I didn't even notice but last week was amazing and it's so glaringly obvious because of how I feel this week and what was the what is the moment you felt like I, I have to go check or I have to message them or I have to I mean, first of all, I would say like, I wouldn't call that week exciting or okay. like amazing. It was just, it was just very, um, but even just calm. Yeah. It was just very chill. It was very like, I wasn't thinking about this person mm -hmm. or that situation, you mm -hmm. know, and it allowed me to, uh, just, enjoy what i was doing mm -hmm. without having this um and i don't i i honestly don't remember what was the tipping point or what was what was the thing but the point i want to make is i don't want to like i don't want to give this you know any more energy yeah. but it's it's the place we have a choice yeah you can choose to stay in that place of pain uh of 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 um, what's what else of pain and of discomfort and uh, it's like self-sabotage it's like yeah yeah or or you can change it mm -hmm. and and you know there it was i had i had both and so so, so for the person who's feeling like they're hearing their own situation in yours mm -hmm. like how do you change it what have you done 
again, it's, it's, I go back to an addiction, mm -hmm. you know, you just, you just have to, you have to fight it. You have mm -hmm. to fight those feelings of wanting to reach out to that person or, or wanting to get some closure or wanting to, I mean, it, it's just, there's no, um, it's just a decision. Like it's willpower. It's willpower. It's really how bad do you want to rid yourself of something that is that is not working for you? Yeah, that's that, not healthy for you. That's really what it comes down to. You can stay in that, mm -hmm. but, but there will be consequences. To, yeah, you have to at least try to see what it feels like to not have that, and that's what I did. And I, and and I I wasn't really intending to talk about it today, but I think it was good to do this part too and maybe next mm -hmm. week you know when i do because there there will be some closure today yeah. you know, i'll i'll talk about that you know because yeah. it's a it's a it seems to be a three-part thing but <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway we're, we're, we're chronicling the life what it made me think of was like even not really connected to this part of the conversation but a little earlier in that you you were talking about how you can't really you can't, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know how much they're, they, well, they might, but it can't be about them fully understanding because as much as you try to convince them, let's say you try, you, you, you cave and you try to explain to them, what are you doing? You're hurting me. Why are you intentionally doing that? This is rude. Whatever it is that you want to say, it may not get through to them because they may not care or may not even know what they're doing or may not even be aware that what their actions are are causing you this kind of pain every day we're presented with this kind of behavior that you don't have any control over other people's actions like i have relatives who are not doing well in accepting their grandchild who is transitioning and it makes me so angry and yet I don't really know getting angry at them is not going to change their mind <laughs> like I'm not even sure what it sparked in me is just this like what could actually be done to help them understand this when they still have a problem with me being gay like that's that's even an issue for them can, can I just add like the thing to me to ask is because I can apply it to this situation I'm in. Where is this coming from? Mm -hmm. Where is this attitude and how they feel about it? Where does it come from? It comes from something in their past or something in their upbringing. Yeah. Like this person I'm dealing with is just a terrible communicator. Mm -hmm. and, and today he just, he, he just, he said, he said, I don't know how to communicate. I'm not a good communicator. Yeah. So somewhere along the line, this person didn't learn this. Yeah. And so like, okay, we can make that decision. Maybe we can help them. Yeah. You know? And with, so I don't want to change the subject with, with your, no. with, with those, those grandparents, it's like, like what, what, like, again, like how can we, what, what is, what, and, and maybe it's something that you can understand or people can mm -hmm. understand, you know, um, so I think that's a that's a that's a big step, don't you think? Like, where is yeah. this coming from? Why are they feeling this way? Yeah, but even that to ask them, that may but that might be the question to ask. Like, where? And I don't I don't see them all the time. It's probably something more my parents would have the opportunity to explore with them, and probably a safer space for them too, because that's my dad's sister. You know, like that mm -hmm. they're they're much more they're closer than I am to them <clears throat> just ge geographically even but that's a good i'm going to mention that to them because i i think at some point the confrontation of just like acknowledging it is important like you can't just avoid it forever and you know that kind of brings me full circle to your situation where even though maybe you feel like you caved and you know you messaged him or whatever it was you also may have taught him something like th this moment could bring something for, I mean, for both of you, but 
Yeah, possibly. But that's and I think that's where I mean, if today does happen, that's what's going to that's that's my intention of trying mm. to help him realize the the consequences of mm. of not being a good communicator but again and back like you know, we're going to refer to both these situations they have to want to be open to it exactly yes i want to be a good communicator in your situation yes i want to understand yeah but the challenge is sometimes people don't know where it comes from mm -hmm. or they'll just say like how do you deal with someone that just says well that's just how i feel how do you deal with that? I know. I mean, we're dealing with that. You know, you're the, you know, America where you live in uh, yeah. is dealing with that. Like, how do you deal with, with, with people who are living in an alternative world? Yeah. You know, and, and you don't, cause they're so into it. Yeah. And, you know, maybe, you know, sometimes a conversation or sitting down with these people helps and sometimes it may not. But as I always say, at the end of the day, we all have our own journeys and maybe yeah. that's the journey. And it's, it's a, it's a tough one because I'm sure it's, it's very hard on. So is it a grandson, daughter? Grandson now. Grandson now, but was a granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And it's, yeah, it, you you just can't force mm -mm. progress on people because they then feel so defensive, like that there there's something about them as being taken away or that is wrong or nasty. Like it, it just it's a hard thing because I I think that you you're onto something when you say like you just won't be able to get through to everybody and there will be there there's a threshold with which you might just have to let it go and not try any longer like literally remove yourself if it's not safe anymore so then then it's out of your hands this is not your job to convince them of something you tried boy this it's is not so healthy to stay yeah for you like not you but like for the person that's trying yeah no and and in my situation me yeah and you know i'm not going to get into it but you know, a lot of my family stuff and, you know, there's been some stuff going on there too. And it's like, Oh my God, like every, all this stuff is, is like coming back from, from my childhood that has just been my whole life. And yeah. at some point I may just have to walk away from it, Yeah, you know, because it's just so damaging for me and it just keeps happening. Yeah. So and yes. that's the thing when you start to see the patterns like pay attention to that i mean i i i just i just feel for people who you know don't have a relationship with their their parents or their siblings or mm. um and 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 i'm like the first one to say you know what like have you tried like can have mm -hmm. you done everything you can to some people haven't, but the ones who have and it doesn't change, then it's it's horrible. But you have to walk away from it because you you yeah. need to, you need to protect yourself. Exactly. You know. So I mean, this got into a much bigger thing, but <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's it, almost what it wraps. That's almost the bow to this episode. Is 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 that it, it comes down to making sure. I don't know if protect yourself is the right word, but it does feel like the right sentiment, like at some point you have to come back to that. Like you have to protect yourself. Like, I don't know, maybe that feels too dramatic. What do you think? No, I think it's right on. And I think again, I'm, I've just, you know, I, I've just lived it in this last couple of weeks where mm -hmm. I took myself out of the situation and felt what that felt like. Yeah. Then I put myself back into it and felt what that felt like. Mm -hmm. So then it's like, okay, now I have a choice. How do I want to feel? Yeah. Now some people just are 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 just are mar not martyrs, but they. Yeah. I don't. know. They just want to be in that Mass. place. They're yeah. just addicted to being in that dramatic back and forth for yeah. sure. And in pain and and a yeah. war, suffering you know, and yeah. But. And you, 
when you take it again i i just keep you know like to an addiction like mm -hmm. and it never goes away i mean i i've talked no. about my smoking i mean i haven't smoked for i figured it out the other day 25 years 26 years but lately i'm like oh you know what i still i still have a i still feel like i want to have a cigarette that and is get myself a, a bad place it's like oh, fuck, i'm gonna because i feel like shit i'm gonna feel like even more shit so i'm mm -hmm. gonna have a cigarette Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to kill myself, you know, because I'm going to smoke and I'm going to get cancer and I'm going to die. Yeah. Yeah. But I also know what it feels like to smoke, the coughing mm -hmm. and the tiredness. I think that what tips you over to never doing it again is just how long you've not done it. Like it's a, yeah. a little bit of a game in a good way for you that's a competition mm -hmm. with yourself. Like I'm not fucking with 25 years. I'm not, that's not, we're not doing that. But that's what that's what you build over time. And that's what that's that is motivation for people listening right now. It may be harder at the beginning and it will never be never. It'll never be over. But what does get easier is that you build off of the momentum of of the amount of time you've set to protect your peace. Protect that thing that keeps you in a space where you feel. Even not just you don't have to feel fantastic all the time. But you just you feel at peace and and even if you have to go back and forth you know for a little while like yes. go in and out of that yeah then you know hopefully that will lead to okay i get it mm -hmm. i want to feel good i want to feel better so i need to eliminate this again it could be a habit it could be a person it could be family it could be whatever you know at the end of the day what's most important is is what's you know what's going to make you feel good and feel better mm -hmm. yeah so there you have it folks there you have it well that was again not really i, was, I had full intention my mind was like okay i'm gonna get on and i'm gonna say okay justin you talk today and what do you want to talk about but no 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 <laughs> so anyway everyone stay tuned there might be part three to this um eddie's learning to let go yeah, to let go and do what feels good and for you, mm -hmm. you know, without influences of other people, social mm -hmm. media, you know, yeah. stuff we've learned along the way. And so mm -hmm. that's what it's about. All right. All right. Thanks for listening, everyone. We'll see you next and time. Have a spectacular day. Ooh, sparkle. Sparkle with your spectacles. Let yeah. those sparkles out. Yes. Bye, everyone. Okay, my friend. Love you. Love you.